Hey everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia, and today I'm going to show you a quick tip with Ableton Push. And this is something that's just kind of something I like to use every once in a while just to really quickly do things when I'm programming in Ableton because Push really does allow you to quickly and easily interact with Ableton. People often ask me how they can build, uh, create buildups inside of Ableton, and uh, usually those buildups are going to make use of a drum or some other sample that's going to build from a, a very simple syncopated form up to a very quick, very uh, staccato form, and something that's uh, sort of like doing a drum roll up or something like that. Now there's differing ways to do that, but a quick way to start laying out sort of the plan for that is to actually uh, simply play using the push pads and use the repeat function on push. Now repeat is accessed over here on the right hand side of push and when the button is backlit that means the repeat function is going to work. Now repeat is then going to allow you to use these pads on the right hand side of push. And these are note values, quarter notes, quarter note triplets, eighth note, eight, eight note triplets, and etc. Um, now, because usually when we're building uh, up a piece of audio to create a buildup, we usually do start off with quarters and then we'll move up all the way until we get up to very tight notes like 30 seconds and 64th notes. And that really gives us that kind of frenzied sound that we want on a buildup. I'm going to show you how I do that using push. Um, now, in this case, in my Ableton session, I have an arpeggiator on my drums, but I'm actually going to go ahead and remove that arpeggiator. And now what I have is just a snare drum. You can see that's just a standard snare drum sound, kind of an overly compressed, distorted sound. Now I want to do a quick build up with that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to start recording a new clip. And on that clip, I'm while I'm recording that clip, I'm going to make use of my repeat mode. So I'm going to activate repeat. I'm going to start with quarter notes. I'm going to hold down, just hold down my snare drum, and then I'm just going to move up through my repeat modes to give myself sort of that frenzy build-up sound that I would be looking for when it comes to actually working with getting a build-up sound. So I'm just going to hit record to record a clip, and then you can see how this works. So that's a quick way that I can actually create a buildup using uh, just one button push on Ableton and then going through and utilizing my repeat function here on Ableton. It's a very cool way to do this because usually programming this is not the hardest thing to do by hand, but it might not be something that you necessarily want to do. So it is kind of nice to be able to just hold a button down and then very quickly just go right up through my repeat modes and that'll allow me to really get that sound that's, again, really associated with a lot of quick and frenzied buildups. So that right there is just a really quick and easy way to be able to program a buildup. And of course you could repeat this for multiple instruments. So you don't have to do it on just the snare. You could then repeat this onto the kick, repeat this onto any number of sounds. It can be really good on kicks, snares, and sometimes on synth sounds or other sampled sounds. And that's just a quick way to do that buildup. Now there's other ways to program these buildups of course, but I love how quickly I can create a clip just like this inside of Ableton using the push hardware without really having to get too deep into the entire programming process. So there you have it guys, quick and easy Ableton push tip for you today. If you've got Ableton push tips, please feel free to leave them for me here in the comments of this video. Or if you'd like, get in touch with me at Obedia. You can get in touch with me, brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter and on Facebook or call us to work one-on-one. -on -one. You can work with an Ableton professional just like myself one-on-one -on -one over the phone and through remote desktop. I'll show you how to get the most out of your Ableton uh, software, your push hardware, and everything that you can do with Ableton. Help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. That's what we do best here at Obedia. As always, guys, I'm Brian with Obedia. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, happy music making to you and take care. Mm -hmm.